Welcome to the My Lab and Mastering, also known as My Math Lab, uh, walkthrough video for college algebra for fall 2017. Um, so we are in our Ivy Learn page, and you can see that when you click on the My Lab and Mastering button, this is what comes up. So I am already linked um, as the instructor, so my I have instructor tools. But when you after you link yours, which I talk about in that opening video, you will click Open My Lab and Mastering. So when you do that, all right, I'll take you to a new spot. And it brings you to the course homepage for my math lab. And this is how it's going to look. And the nice thing is what to work on next is right at the very beginning. Now, if you've never used this before on your computer, you might want to hit browser check. This just makes sure that your computer has everything you need to run the, the, uh, the software. Uh, it's all free. It's not going to cost you anything. It might be helpful. Uh, so you can view all assignments here. Or let's kind of talk through some of these buttons. So if you just hit the assignments button, that brings you to all of the assignments for the course, right? All 16 modules worth, right? 46 things. And you can see that the homework has a little green flag next to it. And it means you have to do the pretest first. So this pretest, um, which you have 300 minutes, remember the pretests are not part of your grade. Uh, they're kind of a way just to see if you know any previous material. So when you click on that pretest and you take that, you want to do it in one sitting because you only have one attempt. Um, if you master some content, it will take it out of your homework. Um, if you're looking at problems going, man, I don't know any of this, just skip it, right? There's no penalty on missing problems in that pretest. It just opens up your homework. Um, you have unlimited chances um, on the homework. Actually, let me go ahead um, and just kind of talk through this a little bit. You have 15 questions, um, and you can see it's got things, right? So maybe I just say there's no solutions, and I realize I don't know any of this, so I'm just going to hit submit, right? I don't, I don't know this. And that's fine. I got it all wrong. It's okay. That doesn't penalize me. But now you can see the flag on my homework is done. So now I can go into my homework. And again, I have 15 questions. So when I go into question one, of course, I've done my other material, but I've got these options. I want to point out this question help at the top. When you help me solve this, it will walk through a step-by-step -step prompting you how to help and work on this. Uh, you can view an example, which I do not... Um, uh, I do not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't encourage that. I encourage help me solve this. I think it's very, very helpful. Or I want to point out the ask my instructor. So you can see that when you click ask my instructor, it goes straight to me with the question and you can say stuck or I just really don't know what's going on and you can send it. This sends me a link to this direct question and then I can give you good personalized feedback on this, on this question. And so that's, it's very, very helpful. Uh, you don't have to complete the homework in one sitting. Um, when it says final check, if I get it wrong, oop, incorrect, I can hit similar question. Notice it changes the numbers. Now I can check. Nope, that's not right. Um, I'm just going to keep get. Maybe I'll guess one right. But notice that I, I can keep doing this. Um, oh, I got it right. And now I got perfect on that. So again, you can check it as many times as you want. I prefer you not guess. Um, if this one has numbers, there's no way I'd be able to guess it correctly. Um, but you have multiple chances at this. Now this one, see how it says check answer? No, you know, blah, blah, blah. It gives you some feedback. So obviously it's, you can get it wrong three times before it becomes a final check. And then you can go to similar question. And then you again can try it as many times as you want. So it's, it's helpful that you can work through. If you miss a problem too many times in a row, please ask my instructor, help me solve this. Use the tools that are available to you. Okay, so that's kind of the assignments. Um, you can also see after you go through your homework and you can kind of check, oh, I got a 6%. I probably should work on that again later. Um, you have a quiz, which you have two attempts. So when you do your first attempt, if there are problems that you got wrong and you don't know why, you might want to reach out to me and say, hey, Becky, I finished my first module one quiz. I'm not sure why I missed question four. Can you get some feedback on that? You know, and as long as you give me about a day, this is due on the 27th uh, midnight. Don't be emailing me on the 27th at 9 p.m. because I'm going to be in bed, right? So if you email me on the 24th and say, hey, I don't know what's wrong, that gives me time to get you feedback, get questions taken care of, and then for you to take it a second time and do well. So just be cognizant of the due date so that we can um, work back and forth on our, on our information. Now, it's going to be very difficult for you to just go through and do homework without actually learning anything. So I want to talk about these next two buttons, the author and action videos and the guided lectures. So we're starting in chapter one, and you're like, wow, that's a lot of videos. 
and there are. And some of these might be useful and some of them might not be useful, but you'll notice that they tell you how long the videos are, which I do appreciate. Um, but one thing I, I want to show you, sometimes just watching a video doesn't really help. So these guided lecture notes, right? You can click on this button, open them up, and I just I just opened up the guided lecture for chapter one, section one, one. We start in section one, two, um, but alas, you can do this. So you can open up these and you can either, you know, use it on your iPad or a different tablet or you can print them out and you have guided lecture notes. So as the author in action is talking through a video, you can follow along and fill in and write down some notes so that you have yourself um, you know, some notes to, to keep that way as you're moving forward, you can go back and reference. And they have these, yep, there we go. They have guided lecture notes for every section in this book. Um, so if we start on section one, one, and one, two, maybe that's where you start. Um, you know, just one, 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 two, and one, three. And then you can go back um, and check out the videos and go from there. So you might be saying, you know, I really I need work on solving rational equations and here's the video, right? So it looks super exciting, um, and you can go from there. All right. If you have questions, if you're not getting the information you need from the lecture notes and the videos, um, you know, do reach out. I want to help you as much as I can. Um, chapter contents for in chapter one. Notice how you have um, some different informations here. Uh, you can also get to Where's the button I'm looking for? The e-text, which will give you your textbook um, if you don't have a hard copy of that. Um, and we have what we call here the study plan. The study plan allows you to work on items after uh, it's closed. So after section one, two reaches its due date, you can no longer go back and work on that assignment, but you might still need to practice maybe that you struggled with that and you want to practice with it um, before the midterm. Well, you can go to the study plan and you can practice more of those types of questions. So it's a different avenue for practice. All right, that's kind of the basics of how to navigate through my math lab. And again, if you have any questions, you feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call, stop by my office, and we'll get you set up. Thanks.